Hey, look at that. Brown pepper. This is one of my road snacks I brought with me. Oh. That's a good test. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay. So this is it. We didn't have to gain up any on it, or no, is it good? Maybe a little bit. <laughs> Let's see. And it's uh, okay. It is a public stream now. Public stream. Public stream. Public stream. Neat. Public stream. How we that? Do. Uh, <laughs> maybe. Yeah. The stream is continuing. It says. Okay. So if I do that. Okay. Let's see. Maybe. I don't know. Why is it not? I don't. Know. I don't. Oh my stupid laptop. Okay. Sure. It's going. I don't know what's happening. I don't know either. Uh, so I need to set up this URL. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Mm -hmm. Go to the Twitters. Uh, you, well, <clears throat> I hate that you can't like link things in Insta Instagram. I know. Stream is live. Watch at the Sean Connery and I unbox. What I think is a CRT. Let's pull it up. Blue 3D printed. I should put a link. There we go. Oh, there's people in there. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, hey, hold Whoops. up. Hold <laughs> the Whoa. phone. Didn't realize there were hold people. Hold the phone. The phone the, has been held. Should be held. Nailed it. What is up, ladies and gentlemen of the internet? Joel two nine eight eight coming to you live from the power of the internets. So that's what Boogie says, right? Joel two nine nine eight. Well, it's, Bo it's you know Boogie two nine eight eight. Oh, I got you. But you know, you know Boogie. Oh yeah, I get it. Do you know Boogie? A little bit. Mm -hmm. Boy, let's see. Oh, you know. Did what? you put in the description like what we're doing, on, on it, or just random? Uh, I may have put in the description. Uh, Did I put in the description? I don't know if I put in the description. Or, or, let's see. or the title. Oh my gosh! I need to turn up the brightness on my screen. I, it's like yeah, for, I can't see anything. It's like for ants. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Ooh, you know what? Uh, for taken thirteen twenty four said you're the best, and I'm don't know if he's talking about you, but you are the best. Oh, thanks. I think you're the best. You are the best. Yes. You are the best. Hey, and Maker's Muse, OMG Live. Um, I wanna, what's an Australian gang sign? I want to throw one at Angus and see what happens. I'm, I'm going to avoid that at all costs. No, it's I Australian. Have no idea. It's full of kind people and <laughs> bugs that will eat you alive. That's, that's true. That's a rumor. It's, it's JT said that was a rumor. Yeah. That it's not, not everything in Australia will eat you alive. Uh, I'm. He's lying. He just wants us to come see him. Oh my gosh. It's a monster. Chris Warlocky, $4.99. Super chat. Where are the tacos? Um, they're at. They're not here. You know, to be fair, I think my first three or four days here, or two or three days maybe, I, I had tacos. So, you missed them. You did. Yeah, that's true. We yeah. thought about going to Mexican food, but instead we got pretzels. No, today we got chicken. We'd have chicken. It was yeah. good. Yeah. Homemade. It was good. Uh, yeah. So thanks to. Th oh, let's see. It's beautiful. Is that better? <laughs> oh. Uh, Angus I mean, does mine's, say the mine's... middle finger is generally the best Australian gang sign. Oh, sure. Uh, let's see. There's two things that I want to address. Two, two. Uh, the first is I want everybody to welcome Sean. Hi. Sean lives right there. <laughs> Sean Leather. Uh, as the story, can I tell? Can I tell the story? No, God. You know, just go ahead. Just really? Go ahead. I'll, I'll shut up. No, no, it's fine. It's your story. <laughs> No, I was just saying that I, I live in next to the studio, right? Oh, like, you do live next to the studio. Right it's true. There, yeah. Jimmy Shaw with two dollars and a super chat. Uh, hello, my friends. Hello, Jimmy. Hello. I love you. I love you. 
not you. Sorry, Jimmy. I was looking at you. It's really awkward now. Yep. So as the story goes, Sean had a wonderful job at a cool company in Michigan. And him and his fellow employees were called into a room one morning where they said, everybody is dismissed. We've been acquired by another company. And uh, you can't collect your things. You <laughs> will we'll send them to you. Right, yeah. It was awesome. Chris Wardlocky, $9.99 sense buy some dang tacos we might oh we might we might yes. well so let me get past the first story so that yeah. we can get past the second story so we can address the tacos the taco situation because sure. it's it's happening so at that point sean called me on the phone he was like yo this is happening and uh, my brain exploded with wonderful because right. i knew that we don't get to pick our moments <laughs> right we don't get to, you know, right. luck is just preparedness Correct. paired with right. opportunity, right? Absolutely. And at this point, we had been prepared for something like this mentally. And the opportunity arose where Sean could now exist as a full-time 3D printing nerd employee. My first employee. Yes. First. Kevin Mar... Mar Oh my goodness, I'm going to murder this. Uh, Mardirazian with 99 cents twice. Two times. Two times. Two times. Uh, so I, I know I don't I don't currently make enough revenue on the channel to to support a full full time employee such as what Sean deserves. But thankfully, I am able to up what I was paying him before yep. and provide him a place to live. Sean seems to like Seattle so far. Love and it. the goal is... Let's create a bunch of really awesome content, both here and on Technically Nerdy. Let's just kick butt and see if we can't raise the channel to the next level where revenue may actually be able to support him full time. In the meantime, he's going to reach out to the community and see if anybody needs help with some editing. Right, editing. Editing. Video work if you're if video you're work. To Seattle, right? Uh, he's a leg model. Uh, well, low key. We don't want to blast that out there. <laughs> so anyway, I just I uh, I just want to let everybody know that that Sean is my first employee. He's my brother from another mother, yes. and now he's my roommate. And he's already <laughs> he's already it's great. Like what what you can't see behind you is wonderfully organized now. Sean likes to Tetris things. Oh my gosh, we have yeah. some super chats. Awesome. So so uh, okay. Good now said thanks for all the entertainment. I do miss Michigan though, and that was twenty U.S. dollars. Oh wow, that's yeah. a, little, well, a big thank, thanks for thank that. You. That's yes. that's five, ten, fifteen, and, and 20. twenty. That's yep. pretty good. Yeah, and I that's do also good. miss Michigan already, but oh, and Mike says ten, five for tacos, and five for Seattle Children's Hospital. Thank you, Mike. Perfect. That is wonderful. That's you're awesome. A, you're a stellar human. This is uh, Chase Hookill. Chase from Twitter. Two dollars. Thanks so much for your help chase from twitter oh my goodness uh official double e gaming with ca ten dollar i believe that's canadian, canadian. Yep. it's uh it's loonies and toonies <laughs> it's just it's that's just what bacon. they call their money they, i'm serious they just pay you in bacon australia canadian Aust canadian, canadian it's they, they call it ham ham, <laughs> ham. yeah okay so sean drove uh, he actually nearly died. He nearly died on the way over. And I'm not, ex I'm not exaggerating. No. Like, your life nearly terminated. We nearly lost <laughs> Sean, you guys. Because he there was there was a storm in the U.S. Midwest called... Uh, Wesley? Wesley. 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 Yeah. And Sean was planning a route to go around Wesley, where Wesley was going to be. But right. then, then his... He used Apple Maps. <laughs> That's my bad. He used Apple Maps, which yeah. routed him directly through the storm, and he didn't realize it until he was 100 miles in. Yep. So I get a frantic call at 1 o'clock in the morning. The snow is, is up to his windows in his car. He's He can't see I, 10 feet in front of him. Right, yeah. yeah he was it's, cold it's, and it's, shivering. It's he lost his pants I, somehow. I, uh, Some of this is true. So. But the call at 1 o'clock in the morning was true. And what yeah. I, I brought up weather.com and google.com yep. or maps, Google Maps. Right. And what I did is I, I tried to plan a route for him based on on future weather data. Correct. Yeah. But you know, based on the forecast, the radar, all that fun stuff. Right? Yeah. yeah. So I said travel directly southwest as the storm coalesces behind you. Right. And that's pretty much what we did. It's pretty much. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty much. Yeah. I, I had to go west for a little while. And then th that, that next day was that's when I almost died. That's when... 
uh, spun out in the middle of a highway. That's when the what it was such a, a huge like it was such a bad whiteout. And I'm from Michigan. I, I've seen some whiteouts, but this one was so bad that I didn't know what lane I was in if I was in oncoming traffic. That was bad. This was interesting because this was record-setting weather. Right. And I th- I think that says it right there. Yeah. For the Dakotas, oh. which are always bad. So, are they? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. South Dakota, you're just bad. If anybody's <laughs> listening or watching from South Dakota, I'm sorry, but you tried to murder my friend, and that's just not cool. Yeah, I'm not a fan. I still no. want to visit South Dakota. Yeah. Where yeah. is the Where is the um, the I can't even think of it. Where the president's heads are? Mount Rushmore. Are, Mount Rushmore. I Thank don't, you. Don't know. Is that, that North Dakota or South Dakota? That's South Dakota. Did you drive past it? I might have. Was there too much snow? It on might it? have been too much snow. Yeah, yeah. I went across ninety. So if you know where that is, let us know. If I actually just just did just drive. Right I don't much. know where that. I well, I mean, I I've never been there, but right. I want to. Yeah. yeah. Oh wow, we have some. Let's see, we've got some super chats. Uh, let's see, Tenebris Silentium. My under three near every part f- need fix since by it. I don't know what that means, but you did super chat two dollars, and I'm hoping someone in the chat can help you with your under three. That would be fantastic. And Chris Warlocky with nine ninety nine for Sean specifically for you oh. because he says we know you need tacos. Thank you, Alex Roberts with two dollars to say shut up Wesley. I knew that was coming. <laughs> I knew that was coming. Yeah. Rhonda Rhonda Crikes two dollars. Seattle Children saved my nephew and I love tacos. That's Chris amazing. Chris Warlocky, what have you done, Chris? <laughs> oh my gosh, Todd. Uh, Chevrier, 35 U.S., $10 for support of Sean, and $25 for Seattle Children's Hospital. Thank you Thank so you. very much. Thank you. I guess uh, Sean really will get those tacos. I will. I'm excited for tacos. I really will get those yes. tacos. The second story, though, um, I need to talk about these. Yeah. There is a place in Seattle called Chuck's, Chuck's Hop, Hop Shop. Shop. Chuck's Hop Shop. Yeah. And there is a... Uh, at the Midwest Rep Rep Festival, Chelsea and Garrett, they brought a bunch of party supplies for the hotel a lobby that we partied in. One of them was which cider? Cider Boys Cider. C- cider Boys Cider. I like some ciders. I really like Cider Boys Cider. I hadn't <laughs> tried it before. It was wonderful. It's a pineapple-y kind of... They have a bunch of different flavors, okay. but the one they brought was the pineapple. Okay. Yeah. So what we did, we thought, let's stream tonight because there's a box over there we need to open up that I think is a Creality CR-10S Pro. And we should get some tasty cider. So we went looking and we couldn't find it. But thankfully, Chuck's Hop Shop, I tweeted a picture. They have everything else. Yep. Yeah. They everything have, else. Yeah, just walls of walls of beer. If you like beer or cider or ice cream or good times, Chuck's Hop Shop, it's on, I think, 85th or something like that. But it's known in the Seattle area for having nearly everything. It's family friendly. People come in, can buy a drink, drink it there. There's food trucks There's outside. There's food trucks outside. Yeah. There's games for kids. It's wonderful. So, uh, Do they have board games there? Just, do you know? I think so. There's awesome. uh, Cafe Mox, which is a local like board game. Okay, gotcha. Place. But okay. anyway, so what we did, uh, we tasted some of their ciders. And they put them in this ridiculously giant can, yeah, which they, they called a what? A uh, crawler. A crawler. Crawler, because the big one's a growler. This one's yeah. A crawler. A cra- crawler. Crawler. Uh, I guess it's a crawler. Yeah, but it was it was a uh, it, they canned it right there. Like this was not on. No, it wasn't <laughs> when they gave it to us. It's That's cool. Awesome. But what yeah. I want to hear, what I want to do. Yeah. I mean, everybody, grab your drink or what you have next to you. Oh my gosh, you. <laughs> made a mess that's how you open a can of beer oh my Maybe gosh too. i made a mess that's because it's full yeah it is it's really full okay well here and, and it's also pink pink is it yeah i don't know oh i can just smell the alcohol that's great it's on my laptop i'm sorry and you know what it's worth it <laughs> it's worth it it's very tasty it's worth it uh it's good it's a it's a black blackberry currant black currant uh, black currant yep yeah, it's a finn river black currant cider so, uh, in celebration, I'd just like to say, uh, here's to you, Sean. Thank you. Uh, I wish you the best in your future endeavors. I'm glad you didn't die, and I look forward <laughs> to creating all sorts of awesome content with you. Yeah, it's gonna. I'm. Um, thank you for bringing me out here. Anytime, man. Mm. That's a ridiculously large can. Yep. Ridiculous. Oh. Not mad about it. Mm. So anyway, uh, let's see. So how it's gonna go? Sean really wants a CR 10s Pro. I happen to have a box from Creality that I believe is a CR 10s Pro. <laughs> we'll find out. So we're going to find out, and we're going to put Sean to the test, and we're going to have Sean assemble and get a 
a legitimate first print from this machine. Well, we're going to print with it, too. Well, All right. Yeah, I, I, we're not just going to assemble it and be like, <laughs> see you later. No, you... Okay. You better work. All right. So, I'm going to uh, watch the chat. I'm going to see if there's... Oh, my gosh, you guys. Oh, let's see. <laughs> Okay, greetings from Puerto Rico. Luis J. Padilla, Padilla Mercado, uh, five dollars. Welcome. Oh, greetings from Thank Puerto you. Rico. Oh, high tech redneck. That's a fantastic that is name. A great name. Did send in five dollars. You guys are a great inspiration. And here's five dollars for Seattle Children's Hospital. Amazing. Kevin Mar uh, Mardarazian. I just I'm gonna murder that name, and I'm really sorry. But four ninety nine booze and tacos. Yes. Sean Kelker with two dollars. Thank you, other me. <laughs> uh, Rob Colley, a dollar ninety nine. Did you check out the mosquito hot end at Murph? I didn't. We didn't. I didn't. Uh, Murph was an interesting story because I didn't. You get your box. Sorry. <laughs> it's so hard to find good help around here. I'm gonna do this on the floor because. Boy, just clear off that table. Do it on the table. That's also fair. No. Murph was an interesting thing. Um, it was it was crowded to say the least. It was it wasn't just crowded; it was massively crowded. Uh, you can see on the video that Tom Sandlatterer shot while walking around. It looked crowded, but that was when everybody was out watching the Open RC race. So half or more of the people weren't actually there. It was really hard for myself, for Sean, and for others to walk around. Um, I know I'm known in the 3D printing community, but it was just full of people. This place was just full. Hopefully next year they do get a larger spot. Uh, I didn't get a chance to check out the Mosquito. Um, it, was all, it was all the way over on the other side of the building from where I was. And uh, careful. I got boy. it. However, uh, the Mosquito is going to make an appearance here on the channel. I'm currently working with Pooch. You know him from Repcord and Dan from Slice Engineering. And uh, there's going to be some cool stuff happening with the Mosquito Hot End. And uh, I can't wait. It's it's going to be kind of cool. So you'll have to stay tuned. Uh, it's, it's a legit piece of hardware. I know Tom made a video about it and talked to them. I You won't be disappointed. Let's just, we'll just put it at that. Uh, practical printing, twenty dollars. Tacos oh, no. require require cerveza. He's not wrong. He's not wrong. He's not wrong. That's uh, an accurate statement. He's not wrong. I've ever heard one. Ron Floyd with oh, it's scrolling so fast. I'm really sorry. Ron with fifteen dollars. Five for tacos for Joel. Five for tacos for Sean. Yes. <laughs> so much tacos. That's fantastic. That's a, that is a wonderful super chat, Ron. Thank you so much. Let's see, uh, Cody Soulier, five dollars. A big thanks from Nebraska. Uh, your videos have helped this 3D printing noob out tremendously. Nebraska must have been hit with some snow, right? Well, uh, I think so. Or they got the rain and the lightning part that was also then ice or snow. I don't. I forget. Because Chelsea and Garrett talked about it. And they're That's right. From Nebraska, right? They're from. Yes. 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 Carney, Carney, Nebraska. Carney. Carney. Kearney, Carney. Hey, did we get it right? Is it a Sierra Tennis Pro? I think so. <laughs> we, got, we grabbed the right box. Good I job. Still, I still have it. Yeah. I still have it. I'm just going to keep my drink over here, away from you and your... Yeah, it's probably a good idea. I put mine over there. Your craziness. Justin Dotson, $20. Sean, here's for you, bud, and 10 for the hospital. It's fun seeing you guys at Merv and people asking for the Sean. Did people ask for the Sean? They did. A couple people did, yeah. Really? Yes. Some, I like to joke with Sean. Some people like him. I like to say that, hey, Sean, you're famous adjacent. Yeah. <laughs> it's and an I accurate just, statement. It's funny. But you, here's what I like about Sean. Uh, a couple years ago, yes. it was, I knew that he did video editing and he was able to run a camera really well. And he's like, if you ever need some help, I'd love to help you out, Joel. And I was like, let's do it. Let's figure out a way to do this. And when he started editing videos, I think the first one was the CR10 video, right? I think it was the CR10 review. Yeah, the CR10 review. It's it's gone great. Yes, it's got many views, but it was edited in a way that was just perfect. He did a fantastic job. He knew zero about 3D printing. <laughs> zero. Nothing. Because the the first version they got back to me, he had labeled something wrong. I yep, think. I think I did. Uh, but Sean is a quick study. 
And what's great, any of the tutorials that I do, Sean actually follows them along and does the thing as well. So he's he's all about learning and you've come a long way. I am so impressed with the the knowledge that you've gleaned and gained and and just what you've what you've been able to do. Well, you know, watching literally every single one of your videos <laughs> has helped a little bit. You watch more of my videos than I do. I think I do. I think I do. That's wow. So good. So uh, Justin Dotson, thanks. He he made that donation. So thank, thank you very thank much. Thank you very much. Well, yeah. Oh, Chelsea, ten dollars U.S. Glad you got there safe. Miss you, wonderful people. I I miss you as well. I hope that I hope that uh, we get to see you and Garrett soon. I think that'd be fun. Yeah, that would, that be, would be a lot of fun. That'd be a lot of fun. Let's make that happen. Let's let's not break things. Wait your turn. <laughs> printer <sighs> okay thank you chelsea thank you appreciate very much. that i i hope that could, have you you've tasted the tasty things that she's made before right haven't you yes yes at, yeah at murph at murph that's right the scotch ruse right yes yeah i would those are worth their weight in gold <laughs> yes those are so good i see games with a, a canadian five dollars that's uh two toonies and a loony <laughs> What would you say is a good mid-tier printer? Not for paper. Keep up the great work. Uh, mid-tier is an interesting definition of something. Right. Um, I like to recommend the Prusa machines because they're a little bit more expensive than the standard Creality line. They're less expensive than the Ultimakers and the Taz 6s and the Ray's 3Ds and you know the Artemis and the, the whatevers, but they, they hit, as Tom in his review of the Mark III, it hits way, way above its weight class. It's a, I think it's a fantastic machine. It's not without its issues, but the issues are mitigated easily and the support community behind the Prusa itself is wonderful. So it's probably the one that I would recommend to you. Uh, and a Mark III S kit, I think is $250 US. I think it's a, it's a deal because you also get to learn about the machine that you're going to be using. You get to put it together, which means you're going to more easily be able to uh, fix it if it ever breaks. Yeah, that's what I did. Yeah. I, I put together the Mark III. Uh, that was my first. I, mean, I had the CR-10. CR-10 was my first printer. We'll have to get you a, a uh, US power the plug. US power plug, yep. they're, they're over there on the ground. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then I moved up to the Mark III, and that was... That's where I you really like I cut my teeth on printing and that's, yeah. and that's you know I've needed help along the way with with getting things working and up and up and going but uh, I I'm at a point now where I can I think I can point to things and realize what's going wrong when they're going wrong. I think the video we did where we talked about the Bobom character right and the problems you had with it yeah like you learned from that I learned a lot. A lot of people learned from that right and I think that was a really super handy video. Plus we got to have Chuck in it that was fun. That's great. Yep, we need to get Chuck out here. We that's need to get Chuck. If, every, if everybody could go to Twitter, if you're on Twitter, and just tweet at Chuck and let him know that he's needed in Seattle, uh, I would give out his phone number and tell you to text him, but I'm not that that's, drunk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would just be, that would be bad. Terrible. Yeah. That was, um, that was Icy Games. Icy Games. A big thanks for the Canadian Five. Canadian Five hams. There we go. Five hams. Loonies and toonies. Right? I know. <laughs> Loonies and toonies. Uh, funny story. Uh, I remember when I was a lot younger, I went up with some friends to Canada, and I remember the first thing that came to my mind. I was like, "This country smells like weed." <laughs> really? Yeah. That's not what. But now at Washington, everything. That, that's that's, yeah. fair. that's yeah. fair. That's yeah. fair. Uh, thank you, Icy Games. Uh, geez, uh, guys, geez, 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 what's G Y S? Geez, what's whites? What's Oh, I'm murdering it. Good try. I'm giving it my all. You are. A, uh, that wasn't a facetious okay. thing. Ten euros. I think that's a euros. That's not a pounds, right? That's a euros? I think that's... I think that's a euros. I think you're right. But thank you. Thank you for that super chat. Harrison Justice with one dollar. I love that. Yes. You know why? Because it's awesome. It is. Thank you, Justin. Any not, amount is awesome. Justice. It's, it's just amazing. Harrison Justice. Peter Peters. Oh, that's a... Peter Peters? I wonder if that's a real name. Is that your real name? Peter Peters? Is that real? I hope so. That's... I mean, it's five euros, it looks like. Yeah, sure. I don't know. That's... 
Am I? I'm, I'm missing. Am I missing stuff? Okay. Oh, hey, I caught up. I caught up. I'm trying nice. to pay attention to the chat. I really am. I'm really sorry. It's just every time someone super chats, I I need to pay attention to that. So, whew, blurry face. You did get your good Bang, job. uptime. That's funny. That's funny. Uh, I don't have a night bot running, so I can't really. Um, I can't help with that. Uh, video scrap heap just got a Prusa Mark III. Good for you. Nice. Uh, I'm actually. Uh, uh, I was talking to Sean about this. I'm going to do my Prusa Mark III review. You did say that. Yeah, I've had the machine more than a year. I think that gives me... More than enough time. ...ample experience to talk about the machine, what it can do, what it can't do, any issues I've had, and the support community around it. So, um... This is interesting. So, what's interesting? Just how I have to attach this. Well, why don't you put this end on the desk and that end not? Good. Good. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. I'm not telling you what to do. I want you. You should figure out your own path. You're right. But if I were to do that, that's maybe what I would do. Okay. Or you could pre put the screws in. Screws in. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. You have options. I do. You do. I like the pre put. Do you want me to hold it? Maybe. I'll let you know if I need your help. Okay. How about that? Okay. Teresa with five dollar reduce. It's not a stream until someone donates Aussie five. Aww. Aww. Teresa's awesome. If we ever make it to Australia, I really want to meet Teresa. Okay. Then me too. There we go. Mikey Carroll, I have school tomorrow, but this takes priority. <laughs> uh, I'm not I'm not a judgy person. This is the circle of trust, but and I'm pretty sure you made the right decision. Just saying. I'm, I'm, I'm out of that one. I'm just saying. Who knows how, maybe maybe, maybe he's in a different time zone. That's true. Maybe it's like tomorrow is still 19 hours away. I hope you're right, but I don't think you are. I don't think I'm right at all. I'm really, really, I mean, make sure your homework's done. Just put me on in the background. Um, Did you know there are YouTube channels and Twitch channels of people just doing homework? No. Yeah, people people doing homework, <laughs> and then other people who have to do their homework watch and do their homework at the same time. So it's like they're doing homework with someone. That's pretty interesting. That's fast. That's fascinating. Yeah, wow. I, that is fascinating. I grew up in the wrong time. Oh, you know what? Um, we have a secondary camera. <sighs> do we? Wait, this is not on, right? This Didn't we unplug this one? No, it's that should be plugged in. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> are you just are you breaking things now maybe something may have fallen yeah okay something has fallen not something has i, I control z that you can't control z it i did you can't double stamp a triple stamp wow what's that from i don't know dumb and dumber oh really oh dude you know how long it's been since I've seen Dumb and Dumber? I don't know, but it's obviously been too time, long. A long time. It's obviously been too long. I've not seen any of the highly touted sequels either. There's been one. No. There's two. Is there two? Yeah. Oh, I remember Jim Carrey said... Uh, one of them... I don't he think was not was, happy. Yeah, it wasn't the original actors. Right. It was It was uh, the guy from American Pie. And, right, yeah. And and, but the other else. one, I think the newest one was... It was? No. The original... Yeah, really? It was, yeah. Pretty sure. Oh, okay. Plague, uh, plagued platypus, ten dollars. You're awesome. Keep up the good work. Just got my first three D printer after watching all of your videos. That's fantastic. I have over, I think, seven hundred and fifty videos online for you to watch and enjoy, and for you to have gone through all, all seven hundred and fifty videos. That's amazing. To, before you got your machine, that is that is dedication. That is some work put in. That's more work than I've put in. That's a lot more work than you've put in. <laughs> Thank you for that. Thank you for the ten dollars and good luck with your three D printer. You'll have to tell me which one you got because now I'm curious. You haven't gotten very far. Thanks, Joel. Is it wait, on? wait, wait. Is it on yet? That's not. That's no. not anything. Be right back. Uh, so right now you're looking at me through my camera. It's a Canon XF four hundred. 
And right now, you're looking at us through Sean's black magic pocket. Yeah. You know what's funny? I don't, let's see if I can see if I can show this. So we have um, a stream deck, and uh, it's not autofocus, but it doesn't matter because this is labeled XF400. And since black magic is a big long word, I just labeled the black magic button BM. BM bowel movement. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Why are you on the floor? Because something terrible happened. Mechanic 44. Sometimes Adelaide in Australia has a maker fair. <gasps> Did you hear that? Yes. Here we oh, go. the dogs are barking. Apparently. Somebody's here. No one's here. I don't know why the dogs are barking. It's like 11 o'clock. No one's here. Let's see. Well, we can check. We do have a ring. We do have a ring, and no one's here. No one's here. Oh, uh, Teresa did say, did he make sure to check and see if it was switched to 110? Not yet. Okay. I can't believe you're on the floor. Well, I can't. I have to. The screws fell in. <laughs> so, uh, r right now, Sean, uh, Sean's on the floor. Um, I'll bring it up here. There you go. Uh, the screws <laughs> fell in, in to the base. Yep. Do they give you extras? No. Okay. Hey, but when you take the base off, we get to look inside. That's right. Okay. Okay. Hey, 3D Maker new. Aw. We gotta make our way out to Malta. That's what we gotta do. Malta, Australia. We should just do one big trip. Uh, one big worldwide trip. I'm sure Mickey will... Oh, Chris says he wants to time your first Benchy. But is Benchy gonna be your first print? No. Isn't it a dog now? That comes with... Because it, it was the cat, right? I honestly don't know. I would have to take printers out of boxes in order to see what their first yeah, prints are. No kidding. There's legitimately like ten boxes here, at least ten boxes of printers <laughs> laying around. And thankfully, Sean is here to help me get them out of boxes and printing. Maybe. Yeah, we just bought a shelf. It's behind the camera. It's we really bought, awesome. We bought two shelves, and it's full. They're going to be both be full of filament. Yeah, they are going to be both full of filament. Sorry, this is taking so long. Oh my gosh. This is a this is a golden stream. Uh, Mikey Carroll, is that the Prusa screwdriver? Yep. Sure is. Sean is on the floor in less than one beer. <laughs> <laughs> Accurate. Oh, that's fantastic. Uh, Ounce Music, update the firmware since you're about to open it. You might as well. <laughs> 3D Maker Noob just said the same thing. So once you crack the crack the bottom, yeah, yeah, you're gonna just might as well leave it off. Okay. Hmm. Hey, is that? Uh... Oh, hey, there is insulation on the underside. Of the heat bed. Is there? That's fantastic. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. That's an improvement. It is. Okay. They're all out. Nope. Do you have to take off the side ones, the too? side ones, too. Okay. This is a learning experience. It's a, yep. Let's see what the BM says. There he is. See? That's that's Sean. He's putting together the printer. German 3D printing nerd, hello and good morning to you. Uh, let's see. XXX Creature XXX. Joel, it's 1 a.m. Go to bed. It is not 1 a.m. I live on the beautiful west coast of the United States here in Seattle. Where it is only... 11? 11. It's 11. I had to hold up my 10 fingers and my foot. So I've still got a couple hours to go to bed before 1. Oh, there's some super chats. Sign Square Saw. If you come to Melbourne, Australia, 
I'll put you guys up while you're here. Love the channel. Keep up the good work with an Aussie five. That is fantastic. More, Thank you for the Aussie five. More Aussie fives. Uh, five dollars from Practical Printing for Sean Power Tool Fund. <laughs> should, you know, should I tell them about how experienced you are with power tools? Zero. Sean isn't. Uh, sh one of the great things about being out here is Sean's going to get to. Uh, He's going to get to learn how to use power tools because I have a plethora of them. Indeed. Ooh, look at this. That probably didn't mess with this. is why, right here. Why? This uh, this piece here yeah. was off. And that's supposed to help guide the screw into the next hole. Oh, well, here. Let's, let's see. Show. I got that. So it's that. This, this piece right here. It's a little foam piece. There are two of them. That stack up inside the the uh, the machine here, and this one had come loose and fell, and so that when I put the screws in these holes, um, it just it just fell right through because this wasn't there to catch it. Oh, okay, okay. Well then, uh, I love Sparkles thirteen. Oh man, he didn't read mine. I didn't read your what. Do you have a super chat up there? Oh, you do. <gasps> Here we go. I love Sparkles 13, 20 US dollars. That's awesome. I almost missed it, and I feel terrible. I feel terrible. You had one I job. I feel terrible. No, no. You... From I love Sparkles 13, I got a CR10 when they were super popular. It was my first real 3D printer. Now seeing the newest makes me want to get one so bad. Also, I'm in college at UNT for media arts, and I love how your vids are edited. Ooh, there's a lot to unpack there. We're gonna let's take a moment first. Um, you got a CR10 when they were popular. It was your first real 3D printer. I'm really curious what you had before. Right. Was it like a, a fake one? Was it a child with a 3D pen that you just told them what to draw? Yeah. Is that a cobweb or is that... <laughs> I don't know what it was. Okay. That's factory worker hair right there. Yeah, it could be. That's great. Also, uh, I'm glad you like how the videos are edited. I also like how the videos are edited. And thankfully, the thankfully, blah, 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 blah. thankfully, Sean is right here, the one that edits the videos. I mean, there are some times where I put the videos together. Yes. But Sean is, I would say, the senior editor. Is that... That's that's fair. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm learning how to use this functionality. Okay. So, yeah. There we go. What do you see? Still not seeing one of them. One of the screws? <clears throat> yeah. Did it fall on the floor? Maybe. No. Get up, get down, get on the floor. Everybody walk the dinosaur. No? Too old. Okay. <laughs> Tried. Yeah. It's got to be here somewhere. Correct. Mm. It could still be in this thing here. Could it? Yeah. Could it? Do you want me to hold the light? Does stuff rattle around if you... Nope. A DJ print bed right there. <laughs> so I want to screw these in that are in there so they don't fall around. Again. Looks like it's a, it's a Meanwhile power supply, which is good. Which is and great. it looks like uh, there are covers over where the, the wires come in i would yes. say that's good right yeah do you want me to go over you want me to go over here can we see that's not a i don't know if that's a good angle <laughs> that's a great angle it's right that's a great angle. it's perfect uh jack parzik two dollars you should do more videos with bill duran it's funny you should mention that because i and bill think the exact same thing it's yes. what we want to do I'm also going to do more videos with Anne of Anne of All Trades. Um, Alex, uh, Alex, Alexis, Alex, oh my goodness, what's her, now I have to figure it out. Because she's a, she's a geneticist, geneta, she's a DNA person. Alex, Al, Alex, Alex, Alex Danis, Alex Danis, she's a, she's a PhD genetics PhD which is awesome and I reached out to her I want to do some videos where uh, we talk about some sweet science stuff mm. that'd be good so 
Hey, do you feel like three out of four? Is that right? Because I cannot. Serious? Find, I cannot find the fourth. Oh my goodness! We gotta find that screw. Uh, the ribbon cable, Justin Dotson. The ribbon cables are nice. Yeah, they are. Everything is re it's really well maintained in here. It does look like minus it. the hair. Was it a hair? I don't know what. Was it, was. it a hair? It felt like a little plastic, something. I don't know. I mean, it could have been, I suppose. Let, okay, Legit. let's let's take a moment, and I'll tell you what. Let me. I'll I'll use my flashlight and I'll look under the bench. Yeah, it's not in here. And yep. it's not in the machine. No. And you did you you you're for sure, you're for sure you had it. Yes, I had all four. Well, this is a, okay. So is it between the bed and the? No. No. Okay. That's not it. Okay. I guess I guess three out of four will do it. Three out of four ain't bad. Three out of four. <laughs> Red King Rari, have you heard of the Tronics Y line of printers? I've been wanting to get one, but I hear they require a lot of upgrades to work at their best. Uh, Red King Rari, I, I've heard of them. I have yet to have any personal experience with any of them. Mark Thomas with a dollar. Love that. Thank you. Thank you for that dollar. Uh, Jack Lee, is this the CR10 or the CR20? This is uh, the CR10S Pro. CR10S Pro. Sierra Tennis Pro. Sierra Tennis Pro. Uh, I'm to, so put this around. I'm just I'm scared about, about where, where that about where that went. screw might be. Right. It's not under there. I just checked. And it's not under there. I just I just checked. <laughs> it's been eaten. Seriously though, like it's. How does something just? Can I look? Go ahead. Okay. Be my guest. Okay, you can man the chat. While I will. I, while I, I will. Look. Okay, Rob Collie, Collie with a dollar ninety nine. The screw is on the front of the table. No, it's not. It's uh, that's. I don't know what that is. It's a black thing. Uh, and then I see the missing screw from Mark Thomas. Well, where is it? Where? If they know where it is, that's great. Yeah. That black thing on the front of the table, I don't think that was it. Uh, wow. What, does everybody know where the screw is? But you know. uh, we, Well, we got uh, TH3D coming in with $50 for, what? for your Stroop Waffle and Red Bull Fund. Oh, I miss Stroop Waffles. Yeah. I haven't had one in forever. Thank you so much. Thank you, Tim. That's so kind of you. They've, they've done a good job with the wiring in here. I total mean, it looks. This is a total failure. <laughs> to be fair, when you put the screws in, it just fell right through because the the support had gone away. Is that? Is that something? I hear something. The retro refurbisher got an A net A eight. That's, I mean... I hope it came with a fire extinguisher. If you can put a bunch of work into that, that's not... So that's not a bad printer, work. right? Uh, well, I... <laughs> I don't know. I mean, Bill and Brittany were able to put one together and get it working after they kept it from lighting on fire. You know, a funny story about Anet. They emailed me, and they wanted me to... They wanted me to, to take in one of their printers. And uh, I said, I can't. Uh, I'm not reviewing printers at the moment. I just have a backlog of too many. It would, be, it would be irresponsible of me to take in your machine and then let it sit and gather dust. And they asked me, they said, please, please, can you? And I said, no. And I said, also, uh, I have a hard time. I would have a hard time dealing with a company who puts out a very dangerous machine that uh, has caused fires. 
And the other person on the other end of the email said, "What? I don't know what you're talking about. So I sent 10 links. <laughs> and they said, thanks. And they sent it to the engineers and they verified that the ANET A8 Plus has... Uh, no, it has uh, runaway thermal runaway protection. Oh, yeah. That's good. Yeah. Uh, no, it's, it is not. I can't confirm it. It's not on the floor. Like the, the floor is brown. We would see the black screw. So... I'm going to go around. Okay. Do it once over. I'm going to go around. Sure, sure. Okay. Uh, Ada has a new resin printer. It stays on fire for days. <laughs> <laughs> uh, clean up the desk. Maybe cleaning up the desk will help. You clean up my desk. I'm gonna. I'm clean not up. you. I mean, you, the, the. Oh yeah. Well, I'm gonna clean it up because I want to see if it's here. We don't need that power cord. We don't need this USB. I probably don't need this. Yeah, but that's really not messy. Yeah, that's really not. Here's one screw. There's two screws in there. Okay. That's it. What do we got? Okay. There's there's yeah. nothing on the floor. No, here. It, it's it's probably in this thing somewhere, man. But where? It's impossible. <laughs> I don't know. Did you look in the holes in the supports? Uh, you mean in the? Yeah, I looked in the holes that are here. Yes, and I looked in the hole. I didn't look in the holes. I guess in the bottom of this thing, but I never put it into this. Nope. <laughs> there it is. Where? Right here. Seriously? Yeah. It probably fell out of that into that. That's so crazy. Found it. Just hey, we found it. Okay. I mean, this is. I want to congratulate you. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> so we're on track. We are. We're back. There we go. We are back. Oh, Jake from State Farm. F. J T F. That's right. Pay your respects, everyone. Sean found the screw. <laughs> <sighs> Dave after dark. Who called it? Who called it? Somebody did. Someone called it. Let's see. TH3D Studio Sean, is Joel treating you well? He's treating me well enough. He's treating me very well, actually. And he always has. That's been... I mean, the fact that we were such good friends before this all happened, I think, really helped. I think so. Yeah. I mean, we, you know, we volunteered. We worked together before. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. Uh, Sean's always willing to accept my notes on videos, but I rarely have any notes. Yeah. Or because what used to be a three hour time difference, he would get me the video at midnight my time, right. which would be 3 a.m. his time, which is just crazy pants to begin with. But then I, there might be something where a timing needed to be changed or a piece of footage I didn't want shown or I had to blur something out. And so thankfully I know how to do that. And so I could do that, that little bit of change to it. Uh, but now he's here. He's, he's he's here. Like he sleeps in that room. He sleeps in that room right there. He's like my roommate. I am, in fact. And it's a good experience for Sean too, because power tools and all these machines that you're going to get experience with. Right. It's going to be fun. This has been great so far. <laughs> Just want you guys to see. Let's see. There's Sean. There he is, right there. Just yeah. doing good work. Doing good work. Oh, oh. Do we? Do you want to talk about this? Do you want me to say something? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Whoa, this is a Wham Bam flexible sheet. Um, the nice folks at Wham Bam reached out to Sean. Reached out to Sean, and they said, "Sean, will you review our flexible build plate?" And Sean said, "Yes." Yes. Sean said I could put it on a Creality CR-10S Pro, and Wham Bam was like, yes. So here's a box with with our goodness. And he's just going to put it on the CR-10S Pro, just like that. And, uh, you know, we, we heard that the print surface 
for the Sierra Chavez Pro, not the not the greatest, according to Chuck. Uh, yeah, Chuck doesn't like it. Didn't like it at all. What did so. he replace it with? Did you go Build Tech? Build Tech. Okay. Think, yeah. yeah. He went Build Tech, and um, uh, and he said, yeah, you, know, you can get the Sierra Chavez Pro, because I, like, I was actually looking at buying one, because I had the Sierra Chavez Pro. Yes. Yep. Yep. And he said, you can look, uh, look at buying one of those, but you know, I don't think it's really worth the upgrade because it's not great. And then all of a sudden, he changed his mind when he said, when he found BuildTech really, really helped him. Yeah. He said his, his leveling issues went away. Just just went away. Right. That's crazy. That's crazy. Awesome. But that's great. Layer porn. 3D printing nerds. So your Google Drive sharing for files isn't useful anymore. Um, yes. sort of, I mean, it kind of is, I work with, I do work with other people as well. Sean and I have other uh, teammates, team members. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. There's people that we work with and we do have to share files. So some files get rather large and the Google drive does come in handy. Uh, I did sell off my Drobo and I built thanks to Eddie Moser, a 24 disc unraid server and uh, I did one video on Technically Nerdy talking about that. The second video has been shot. I just need to add my voiceover and a um, and a conclusion. I think that's about it. Yeah. And Sean will help with that. I we got We got some fun videos planned for that channel. Some great videos. Some great videos. Um, I might get to shock Sean. He might get to ride... Uh. Uh, uh, unit uh, the the cool wheels like this the the Segway skates yeah might do might do those. Um, we have some plans. I, I, I'm getting there are companies reaching out to me to do ad reads in the middle of videos like Squarespace and Skillshare and NordVPN and you know others like that. Um, but our plan is to make the ad reads different, fun, different, fun, and different. Little, little uh, short stories, if you will. Yeah. Short movies. Contextually, short, short contextually, yeah. contextually relevant. Right. They're going to make sense. They're going to make They're well. going to make I mean, <laughs> they might make sense. They might make sense. Uh, whoa. Info Mario Reyes. Hola, hola from Spain. Wow. Hello. Uh, Chris Forlocki. You don't buy the CR10S Pro. I don't know what that means. The CR10S Pro buys you. The CR10. In Russia, CR10S Pro buys you. Yeah. I did not buy the CR10S Pro. Creality reached out and asked if I would like to have the machine to showcase on the channel. And I've had a lot of people inquire about it. I thought it was responsible of me to get some experience on it. Plus, Sean really wants to touch it. So... And I've I been said, touching it all over the place tonight. Yeah, that is what she said. <laughs> and that's why I got one in. Yep. Oh, uh, and shout out to Sean. He got the video edited in time. New video this Wednesday. It's a bit of a Murph wrap up and uh, it's showcasing some cool stuff. Chris, I give you a shout out. Chris Warlocky. He gave me some fans for my Prusa. So he gets a little shout out. He did. He did. Yep, yep. Infomari Reyes, Spain here. Thanks for your research. Oh, well. Thanks for watching and thank you for the thank you for the two euros. Uh, CRT. Hey Angus. Uh, I'm Joel. That's Sean. <laughs> I am Sean. I think I th CRT. I think is Adam. Is that right? I don't have know. you ever have you ever watched? It's like uh, CRT. It's a good channel. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. I just okay. Show of hands. Who here knows what I'm talking about when I say dubstep guns? Dubstep guns. Raise your, somehow raise your hand if you know what I'm talking about when I say dubstep guns. I'm going to take a little informal poll here because Sean did not know. I didn't. Bernadette Vanderwalt just tuned in. Hi from South Africa. That's awesome. Layer porn. Raise Z. Are you uh, burying the nozzle under the bed? I might be. Yeah, Chris, layer porn, everybody's like, you're just ruining this. It's Sav how it came. Savage. It's how it came. Savage. But good job. Yeah. Boy, everything's like metal. Yeah, it looks so much better built than the CR-10. <laughs> I remember the so the, the CR-10, the original one, is what I played with. I had the CR-10S4 for a bit, and I was able to make the Mega Man arm with it, and then I gave it to, right. to K-9. Um... 
This looks like a completely different machine. This looks refined. I know looks aren't everything. Correct. That's why I'm popular. But this machine <laughs> looks... Yeah. We should replace that Facebook QR code with a picture of, well, literally a, picture of a unicorn. Yeah. One of our stickers. All of our stickers. I should make stickers that are that size. Yes. Okay. Okay. Anyway, I think... Uh... Doing it. <laughs> yeah. Tim actually messaged me. Raise the Z. Oh, CRT. Ha ha. Joel Angus just appeared in chat. I did say hi to you a little earlier. Yes, I know. I know. Excuse me. You're warm, aren't you? Yeah, I'm, I'm a little wet. Do you, do you want a towel? No, I'm good. Okay. Next. Are you a sweater? I am when I'm nervous because I botched the build. What do you mean? You found the screw. You redeemed yourself. I did. Sweat, you go back in. <laughs> Speaking of going back in. Oh, you got to plug in the... The Z and stuff. Yeah, plug in those Zs. Plug in those Zs. You know what? Uh, TH3D Studio, Joel needs to check chat more. Sure, that's great. How about... How about... I'll do that. <laughs> you how should. How about I'll do that? I'm just going to... Oh, okay, let me... Let, let's just... We'll start here. Andrew Morris, yay, raised Z. It's true. He did raise the Z. Ron Floyd, yay, with seven Ys. That's how yay it is. Plagged plate of platypus. That was a rough that was rough to watch. I agree. Sorry. The retro refurbisher. Well done, guys. Well, thank you very much for those kind words. David Bolner, is this printer badass? Yes. Yes. From Sean. It definitely is. TH3D Studio. Joel needs to check chat more. I just read that message. I just read that message. Kit, dubstep guns. Is that like cat lasers? No. Ire. <laughs> no. T space, A space, K space, E space, Z space, A, X. I'm not even going to go on with that because you stop that right now. You stop that. Chris Warlocky. Oh my God. My heart is better. Chris, don't lie. That is not true. And you know it. Yeah. I'm lying. You have a good heart and a sweet beard. And for Mario Reyes, also on number 76. I don't know what that means, but that is fantastic. T-Bro, what are your thoughts on the Ender 3 3D printer? I don't know. I've yet to play with one. Uh, he kicked it earlier. I accidentally kicked the box earlier. <laughs> yeah, I did kick the box. Yeah. But uh, the zesty, nimble guy was here, and he had an Ender 3, and I got to see one for the first time. And uh, it looks cool. It looks cool. Uh, oh man, see? Oh shoot. What? The, the chat, it just, it just moved. Just keeps going? It just moved. Ire with O, and I'll say O, kit, and the Z has been raised, and it was good. And it was good. Uh, Wolfman 76 RC and Car Audio, I just got the under three and don't think it's the pro version. I was wondering what filament I should use, and also software, and is there a video showing me how to create the files to create replacement parts? Um, let's see. What filament you should use? You should use PLA to start with. It sounds like you're a noob, and that's cool. Learn with PLA. There's no reason not to. Also, the software, uh, you're going to slice with whatever it recommends. I would recommend Cura or Slicer, uh, or as Tom says, Slick 3R. Slick 3R, yeah. Slick 3R works. Or uh, there's, um, yeah, I mean, those are free. Yeah. I would don't recommend Simplify 3D because they're not a nice company. Uh, I would say software showing you videos how to create the files. Go look up uh, Tinkercad tutorials. I think that's a great place to start. There we go. Woo. The retro refurbisher. My mind is fixed. See, I guess everybody was yelling at you to raise Z. What are you doing on the floor? Uh, I can't see this up top, but it's... Uh. Jake from State Farm. Drunk sweating. Yes. You haven't had time to drink your drink, have you? Not really. Mm. I've been doing stuff. Teresa... The chat feels great relief. <laughs> I think the chat was yelling at you. They were. Uh, rightly so. And I didn't pick up on that. And for that, I must apologize. Profusely. OMG, he's looking at a manual. Hypocrisy. What? Hypocrisy. 3D Gustner, don't forget the firmware update. I don't think you should. Well, I don't know. Do the instructions say to update the firmware? They don't. But, I mean... 
that's hypocrisy to follow the instructions, apparently. Right. So maybe I should just update right. it. You know what? You are your own person, and I think you should do whatever you think is right. Yeah. All right, let's go there over here. I don't like this camera angle. Oh, look at this. Look at this. This. Look at that. Can you see it? It's right there. It's right there. Someone made that for me and gave it to me at Murph. It was fantastic. But you get to see it on uh, Wednesday's video. Wednesday's video? Sure. Yes, Wednesday's video. Whenever you said it's a pointless. <laughs> or a pink. Please don't reverse sweat. Don't is that, reverse is sweat. That, is that not good? I don't know. Should I just not? said sweat. Go back in because oh, I, right. I, you know it wasn't right. But there we go. There we go. Uh, oh my gosh! So much typing. Super Johnson, two thousand and four. That was fifteen years ago. What's better, the CR10S Pro or the CR10S5? Want to print large things? I don't know. Yeah, I we don't know. We put them together yet. This is my but first experience with the CR10S Pro. I mean, Apparently, it eats screws and bolts. But uh, you know, the CR10S5 obviously is going to get you a much bigger print. Like, right, it's like 500, 500, 500. Yeah, yeah, it's huge. Yeah, that's, it's embiggened. Yes. It's embiggened. Very much. Embiggened. So. Oh, wait, there's a there's a super chat here. I own this printer and love it. I love your channels and thank you so much for sharing your help and knowledge. The filament check and pause is print on the printer is fantastic for brittle filaments and power surges. That's great. That's okay. So the filament detection sensor thingy, I yeah. think that's it right there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's. It's metal. Metal! Jeez. It's metal. It's metal. It's metal. And Ramsey said that, giving us $10 US. Oh, wow. Thank you. Thank you for the $10, Ramsey. That was... Lovely of you. That was that was fantastic. Yeah. Info Mario Reyes. Next time you build the printer and let him do the chat. Yes. Okay. It's a deal. I'll tell you what. The next... Stream we do with the CR10S Pro. I'll get another CR10S Pro. I will build it, and Sean will check the chat. Yeah, Joel's better at talking though. He's better at everything. Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> You're better at being Sean. Yeah, which is apparently not great. I don't know. I, it looks pretty fantastic to me. Does it? Yeah. Hey, is it supposed to go in the T nuts or is it supposed to go over here? Looks like it's supposed to go right here. It's supposed to go in these nuts. <laughs> yep. Yep. Uh, Super Austin 49 with $4.99. What is the best PLA filament company for quality around $20? Um, 20 bucks. Uh, I've been printed with some IC3D filament. They make good filament. I don't know the price. I think it's close though, isn't it? Yeah, I think the, so. The Jesse PLA from Printed Solid is supposed to be affordable. Pretty Matter close, Hacker's yeah. Build Series, I've had good luck with it. Some people haven't, but... I've used uh, I've used like 50 pounds of it for that open RC car that I will finish yep, and uh, it worked out well yeah um, the other thing the strong hero 3d filament yeah they're on Amazon they're pretty cheap are they yep um, I don't know what else? Uh, atomic are they are they Atomic's a little bit more expensive are they yeah but they are a very I, I don't remember but it was they, like, but it was like 25 it's, I think is it 25 I think it's what I spent on it yep if you can get Atomic for 25 bucks, I would do that. Atomic Atomic Filament is wonderful. Yep. I love it a lot. Me too. All right. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Uh, Super Austin 49. I hope I hope that helps. Uh, Ron Floyd. Manuals are only suggested guidelines. Info Mario Reyes. Stop. To, to me. Stop flirting. You are married. Oh, I'm not flirting with Sean. This is just... I mean, this is just how I am. I'm a friendly person. You are. I'm a person. hugger. You are a hugger. I am a hugger. And a high fiver. And a high fiver. It was weird. At Murph, I know a lot of people talked about con crud. Uh, people yeah. talked about um, getting sick. And, you know, Tom had the hygienic fist bump. Yep. Uh, you know what? I hugged everyone there. I think I hugged everyone maybe twice. And I, and I did okay. Yeah. So I think... So someone made the comment, though. I think I might be patient zero. Oh. I'm the monkey they need to find. God. Well, see ya. <laughs> <laughs> Christopher Colquathen. Cole... I murdered your name, Christopher. I'm sorry. But Aloha Caffeine, 10 US dollars. 
That is fantastic. Thank you so very much. Jack Parzik with $2. Would you and Bill accept a prop kit or 3D print? Jack, I don't know what that means. A prop kit or a 3D... Oh, I know what a 3D print is. I have a few of them. I don't know what a prop kit is. But, I mean, it's $2. Thank you so much. I don't know if I need another 3D print, but if you have an awesome one and you want to send it into the channel... I will not stop you. That's what Fan Mail Friday is for. That's what Fan Mail Friday is for. Jacob Ward with $2. And you know what Jacob said? What? Nothing. There was no text attached to that $2. He just wanted you to have He $2. just wanted $2 to be shown on the screen. And I think that... Yeah, uh, that's... Gets, yeah. gets you right here. Gets you right here. So I think I've got it. Just need a power cord that's suitable. Oh, they're all over there. There's like seven of them. Okay. Just hanging out over there. What is, okay, a power cord, singular, is a power cord, but what do you call a group of power cords? Like a group of crows is a murder. Right. A group of geese is a gander. Uh -huh. What's a group of power cords? Uh, high voltage. That's, <laughs> you just made that up. <laughs> you just made that up. Yes, I did. Kenny John, 3D printing nerd, where can I buy the Ender 3? That's a good question. I think that most likely Banggood, Gearbest, maybe even AliExpress. Tiny Machines? Yeah. Tiny, uh, Tiny Machines has the CR10 right. variants. Uh, yeah. You might check Tiny Machines for the Ender 3. Amazon. Amazon would have like the ComGrow Ender 3. Oh, yeah, that's right. <sighs> oh, wow. Yeah, look at all these power cords. Yeah, see? There's a gaggle of power cords. I love sparkles. Thirteen, two dollars. You probably didn't get sick because you have kids. That's actually a really good point. That's really good I point. have three children in the public school system. That's like immunity, and they're vaccinated. <laughs> Where in the world? Rust oxide. A group of geese is called a gaggle of geese. It's not a gander. I knew that. Did you know that? No, well, I said the wrong word, and you oh, said yeah, oh, so gotcha. that's okay. You're not paying attention. I'm not paying any attention. You're, yeah, you're not. I, it's uh, for okay. So a couple of people said it's yeah, a group of geese is called a gaggle. Gaggle. Is it? All right. Oh, the gander's a young goose. That's right. Oh my gosh. You're, yeah, because it, it's uh, the goose and the gander. It's a, it's a, that's a thing. Hey, you uh, know what's awesome? We've been going an hour. Oh, uh, don't tell me that. Okay. So, someone mentioned you make sure you switch it to one ten. Yeah. Right. Where? It could be an auto switching power supply. Do you, you don't want to risk that though? No, it'd be wherever the power plug goes in. Yep. Which is right. Hmm. Which is where I should have been the whole time, I guess. The power switch. I see zero places to switch to 210. True. Or 110. I bet it's fine. Maybe. I don't know. Well, you have the bottom off. Do you want to, do you want to look under its dress? Oh, yeah. Maybe. I guess we could. And I, Check you, that. You can plug it in right here. Oh. You learn something new every day. I'm here to teach. Yep. See, I've got outlets. All the way. Yep. So we want to switch it. Like that. Chris Johnson, $2. I want my... That didn't work. What was that? That was the... Uh, Spool holder. Oh. <laughs> Wasn't in there very good. Um, so, meanwhile, power uh, supply, there's nowhere to switch. That's fantastic. There's nowhere to switch it on the meanwhile either. Okay. Yep. Then we're good. Should I put? I don't. And I don't want to put the bottom back on. Correct. No. I want to update the firmware. Uh, grumpy dude. Even if it were 220, it won't explode by plugging in 210. Here in the U.S., we're actually kind of we're lucky because uh, in other parts of the world, if if a if a power supply a 220 you know or 110 power supply is if they're in 220 and the power supply is set to 110 and they plug in 220, then bad things happen. But because why is there? What is that? This it tells you to do that in the instructions to when you're moving things around. Oh, okay. 
So I did it. All the way in. It's in. Are we going to power it on? Might as well just to get it going for now before I... Oh, everybody's giving you F. Thanks. DIYRC. Dope, Joel. It's not going to end well. I don't know. I got faith. Shouldn't right now. That was so terrible. That sounded terrible. It sounded like the CRX. Boy, that was a fun video. This has been fun, too. It's okay. you. Uh, that is a giant probe next to the nozzle. Isn't it? Yeah. It's giant. It reminds me of Tim's. Really? Yes. His older one. His newer one's very tiny. Oh, okay. I'm sorry your new one's tiny, Tim. <laughs> you say the rudest things? That's not how I meant it, Joel. <sighs> uh, Info Mayor Mario Reyes. If you have issues with the hot end temp, there is a 100 microfarad capacitor that fails. Interesting. Uh, blurry face. What is with that sound? That is the sound of... Ferocious geckos. Yeah. I notice you, Jordan. Jack Lee, good lord. Kevin Rusa sounded like Windows 98 booting, and I would have to agree with you. It's up and running. Jordan DS, please notice me. Who? Whose name did I say? Mm. I don't remember. Moving on. Uh, Still upside down. Will Deba builds I want smoke. No smoke yet. Good. Uh, duct tape with wow, 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 wow. Uh, Rick Cisco used the shim to level from the sides of the bed, not from the top of the bed. If the bed isn't level, the gantry will not be level. Right. So, so what are you saying? Or she saying? Oh, say, oh. So if it's under here and it's under here, they it should be the right. You lower it. It's just to make sure that the. Gotcha. Now, is there a way to do it? There's got to be a way to do it in the menu here maybe move oh. i like how it has dtmf touch tones like i wonder if i could actually call someone using this uh, the creality touch screen yeah eight six seven five three oh nine however i really don't want to do that i'm glad we didn't get a growler yeah me too all right, so this... Uh, Quantum Flare. Joel, you missed my donation twice. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Let's see. I think I've got ways of checking. Let's see. Um... Not a work phone. Um... Oh, I wonder if... Okay. I'm going to find a way to go back, because that's just terrible of me, and I feel horrible. Sounds like the future. Oh, yeah. They can hear that sound of that microphone. Here we go. Um, so, quantum flare. Quantum flare. Oh, well, let's see. Thomas K Kjeldsen, uh DKK100, uh, Denmark. What's the, what's the money in Denmark? I don't know. Okay. But he gave a hundred of it. That's awesome. Thank you very much. That is, I, I don't even. Man, I, I have to look so that up. Uh, Alice Music, are there many 3D print stores in Washington? No, there's like none. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know of any. Uh, Chris Johnson. Okay. I'm going back. I'm looking. Are you just making me look? Are you, are you that person? I can't go back that far. Uh, Victor Osegura, you have to home it first, then you move the Z the proper amount. Right. Well, I was just, yep. I was just getting it out of the way. I was gonna. I thought about putting this under there on both sides by moving the Z with this thing, but there's no like one millimeter increment that uh, I saw. Okay. So I'm not gonna do that, obviously. Okay. Well. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yep. Right, right now, I'm just kind of making sure that the bed is pretty far down, so that way when I do home it, it doesn't crash into the bed. Okay. Yeah. Well. 
I look forward to seeing what happens. Great. Kenny John, hi, it's afternoon in India. Good afternoon. Uh, Rhonda Kirks, yeah, missed me too, Joel, but I'm mad. Just want to know, Ender or Flash Forge uh, for beginner? Oh, and hi from Tacoma. Dude, Tacoma. Rhonda from Tacoma. That's fantastic. Tacoma's south of here. Is it? Tacoma. Okay. In, okay. I grew up in Puyallup, so Tacoma was like my backyard. Okay. And it used to have the aroma, the aroma of Tacoma. Oh, no. Let's see. Ender or Flash Forge for a beginner. Really, it depends on the tech level of the beginner because both machines are going to provide decent prints. The Ender 3 will most likely require more tinkering than the Flash Forge machine. So it's up to whomever is getting the printer as the beginner whether or not they can handle a little bit more tinkering or not. That's what I think. Uh, Whitney's Wag. Hi, Joel, from Australia. Uh, and Matteo Bello has the CRX in Italy. I love Sparkles 13. How do you feel about what happened to Notre Dame? Oh, oh yeah, that's gosh. that was sad. Uh, incredibly sad. It was it was weird because we were working and just I just doing stuff and I, I was just checking Twitter in between something and uh, yeah, Notre Dame was burning and I would I just had to take pause because that's it's crazy too because it's been around hundreds and hundreds of years like the Notre Dame Cathedral 45 I think what 845 I think is what they were saying is it 845 yeah yeah because it's older than this country yep uh like and they were, they were saying the Nazis didn't even dare destroy right. destroy yeah right yep. which is like so for it what's, to burn what's really sad is that it was I, I what I've heard was that it was uh, the renovations that might have caused right this to happen which is someone was saying though the spire did burn right uh, the under roof did not. The statues that were around, because they were they had moved them four days ago, right. because of the renovations. Uh, the stained glass windows, I believe, broke, but the under roof is survived. Uh, I don't know. It's going to take a lot of time and investigation to find out exactly what's good and what's not. Uh, I just, um, yeah, it's it's a sad time. Just keep just keep the people of France in your thoughts. That was uh, that's a it's a. That is a globally recognized, very special landmark, and for it to burn, it's just it. It's sad. Yeah, it's sad. So that's how I feel. That's how I feel about that. Uh, boy, just the platform. Uh, physics. Wow, I'm also in Seattle and about to go to bed. Uh, then here you guys are still online. Yeah. Yeah, well, <laughs> yes. Let me go to aux level. It's pretty quiet. Other than the fan noise, it's pretty quiet. Yeah, the fan is really loud. Oh, did you? So it's got this thing. This is like a right. Well, that's for the um, the the auto level. Uh, whatever, oh, whatever the sensor okay. is. Yeah. yeah. So go into the sensor. I'm pretty sure. Oh. Yep. He's doing it. Yeah, I'm trying to. Oh, Teresa's so sleepy. Teresa, you should get some rest. Chris W. It's pronounced Notre Dame. Is it? Yeah. I've I'm heard, sorry. I've also heard that. I've disrespected it. Ben. Sorry I may have missed it. What are you guys drinking? We are uh, drinking... It's a... Uh, it is called... It's from Finn River. It is a black currant... Uh, yep. A black currant... Uh, what are we drinking? It's right here. Cider. Cider. Yeah, I didn't. I, that, yeah. yeah, I'm getting old, Sean. It's all right. Uh, but it's in these Chuck's Hop Shop 32 ounce cans that they can right there. It's an amazing thing. Yeah, it was incredible. High tech redneck, almost done printing. What Open our CF one. Uh, 
uh, Teresa must feed small humans soon. Yeah, that'd that be a good idea. Important. I think you should. Uh, Quantum Flare, five dollars. Is there a three D printer under five or uh, under three hundred that doesn't use SD cards? Built my own computer and can't use SD cards. Uh, so most three D printers can be used tethered to a machine. Most have the ability to take an SD card and a USB connection, so you could do that. Um, if you built your own computer, you could find yourself uh, an SD card reader, and um, Correct. most Creality machines actually come with a USB to SD card reader for free. That was yes. that white thing. Yeah, yeah. 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 There we go. So there we go. Mega making didn't the U.S. ban black current or something? I honestly have no idea. I don't. I've know. never heard that. I I don't know. I just uh, we went to Chuck's Hop Shop and we tasted this and we thought that tastes good, so we picked it up. That was it. Oh yeah, get a get a USB to SD converter. Just use OctoPrint. Use the S USB to SD adapter. Anet has USB to SD. There we go. that it's just going along and yep doing the leveling oh. it's auto leveling okay after that i'm going to make sure that thing's reattached and put some filament on it yeah Let's get it going did it come with an sd card it did i put it in okay this is exciting we actually might be at a point where we can print with this thing Are you going to use their filament? Yeah, no, quite as well. I think it's a good idea. Uh, oh, Alan. Hey, Joel. Any plans to talk about Clipper in a future video? Uh, do you know what Clipper is? No. Clipper is a, uh, I believe, is a custom firmware for 3D printers. I believe. I don't currently have plans for a Clipper video. Uh, I haven't had time to really look into it. It seems super interesting, and I'd like to learn more about it. So perhaps in the future that is something that can happen. I can't guarantee it at this point. Uh, I just I need I have to get through my stupid backlog, but this is helping. This is part of my backlog. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's good. Oh, uh, Comcat, black current was banned in the U.S. for a long time due to it being a vector for pine blight. Okay, there we go. Tinkers, I saw Joel fall asleep for a second time. It's true. I get sleepy when I drink. Do you? Mm. I, I have to get to a certain point. One or two is fine. I'm, I'm usually sleepy anyway. Once, yeah, that's fair. I think I eat too much candy. Once a, mm, yep. Me too. I wonder if I could just get rid of sugars. Do you think I could? <laughs> I mean, I exist. I, I'm half sugar. Yeah, I, I'm aware. I'm aware. I don't know what that would do to you. I don't know. I mean, is that is that where your energy comes from? I have no idea. Is that where your powers come from? <laughs> your powers combined. I am Captain Sugar. Yeah, it's possible. Can you? Uh... It's funny. Uh, someone says this. Uh, Cymox ninety six S one seventeen. Have you ever tried? JG Aurora A5S and YouTube. Uh, what is that? No, the, the, A, the A5S. It's a it's a 3D printer. I haven't oh. had I haven't had a chance to try it yet. But YouTube automatically blocked the comment and segregated it, saying to you, "I need to approve it because they thought A5S was another leet way of typing A." a oh. uh, yeah, oh. yeah, that was funny. Abyss, did you? Thought to mount a ceiling fan so hot in that room. It is super uh, hot in this room. I would mount a ceiling fan, but the ceiling is literally, it's I'm right, touching it. It's right there. It's right there. It's right there. I could turn on an air conditioner. Do you need that? No, I'm good now. 
You're not. I'm not sweating as much. It's good. Yeah. What if you sweat on all your liquids and there's nothing left to sweat? That's fair. I definitely sweat quite a bit. <laughs> Uh, Eddie, 2019, I'm from L.A. I just came from downtown, and everyone is up like it's 10 a.m. Wow. What were you doing uh, out and about in L.A.? It's a, it's a Monday night. I guess uh, the city does never sleep, or is that Vegas? Is it Vegas? That, uh, that's New York City, isn't it? City that never sleeps? Is it? I could be wrong. Could maybe, be, maybe it's Vegas. I could be. I've been Super wrong. Super wrong. Augustus Williams, Joel, I just recently learned that Lulzbot is local to me. What are your thoughts on their printers and them? Lulzbot is an interesting company. I uh, I knew people that used to work there. I know some people that still work there. Lulzbot machines are built really tough. A lot of people really love them. They're 100% open source. It's tough. It's tough. Yes. Um, they're really expensive. They are. They are very expensive. They're really super expensive. They and they seen. don't... Um, I don't know. Like the Lulzbot Mini, it's $1,500. $1,500. It's fully assembled. It has a great warranty. It's open source. It's great. But then I go and I, I mean even like like the Prusa Mark III S. It's fully assembled. It's $999, which is already $500 less. It has a larger print volume. It's much easier to print all the things. I don't know. It's, I like what Lulzbot does, and I like their machines, but it's just, you can't ignore the fact that they're incredibly expensive for what they are. So, their naming conventions are fantastic. Oh, the naming conventions are great. Uh, I have a Taz 6. What else do I have? What else do I have? I have a, oh, the Lulzbot Mini I gave to Keith, the Protopasta. Okay. Is that it? That's it. That's it. Okay. Uh, I haven't been approached for the, the dual Taz, the Taz Pro, I think it's called. Right. But it's also really expensive, and I don't think they would, I mean. Right. I don't know. I don't know. So there you go. That's what I think of the Lulzbot company and, the, and their machines. Uh, Anthony Hart, what are we waiting for? I don't know. Sean, what are we waiting for? Uh, me reattaching the spool holder. The spool holder needs to be reattached. Two nuts are had give me a hard time. Do you need help? Maybe. Do you want me to do it? Sure. Here, well, you watch the chat. I'll do it. Here you go. Sure. I mean, I get to do stuff. Get those two nuts in there, and then we'll get printing. Oh god, Taz Pro is really interesting though. It is. What is there? What's their new? What are the new features of the Taz Pro? I didn't, Taz I didn't Pro even... is dual extruder. Okay. With a, a rocking extruder, kind of picks it up, the nozzle picks up, and a color touch screen. Is that it? <laughs> it's not any bigger than the okay. Taz 6 yes yes we know I think there is a screw on the table it did it did fall so it just wasn't in there very very good but did this? you not put it back in no I did it just didn't stay in there very well so I didn't secure it enough but so we're just running three screws yep I'm gonna run three screws until this, this stream's over and I'll fix it oh, you should have uh, you Maybe you shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> <laughs> Why is Simplify 3D a bad company? Didn't you use to endorse them? I did. I did use to endorse them. Uh, Simplify 3D actively subverts their users. Um, there's a, They have a limitation in their software. So you have to download printer profiles from their software. And if you download what they deem to be too many, then you are blacklisted from downloading any more profiles because they fear that you might be taking their profiles and giving them out for free, which is a terrible thing, I guess. Uh, and when you call for tech support, you say they give you a random error when, when your profiles can't download anymore. And their tech support says it's a problem with your computer, with your network connection, with your hardware, something is wrong there. When in fact, confirmed by former employees, it's a limit on the server end and only the CEO can fix it. And they've not. And they won't do it. And they <laughs> right. won't do it. So uh, I don't endorse them anymore. And I call them by name SpongeBob 3D. Uh, let's see. 
No, no, not three screws. Yeah, well. Um, I told you, man. You should yeah, have not said anything. I shouldn't have said anything. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's just more about three, more uh, simplified 3D. Folger says hi. Who does? Pro uh, Folger. Oh. Uh, profiles aren't really that valuable anyway. No, they're not. Mega making. And the profiles are just XML files. Right. So, hmm. Uh, Mega Making also said belt z driven Z access and dual extruders for the TAS Pro. Oh, belt driven Z. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Interesting. Hey, uh, spool there's in. Thank you. Well, I'm here to help. I'm here to help. Yep. And you've been a big help. I've been something. Hmm. Now, there you go. Cord. Yeah, and this is it. We're going to be printing. And Windows 98. Info Mario Reyes, 3D printing nerd. I always make my own profiles, and that's great. Lots of people do that. But isn't it sad to know? Ouch. Windows 98 is now up and running. Isn't it sad to know that a company who takes your money for their software actually lies to you so that you can't have the full functionality of it. I find that to be disturbing. So I don't use it and I don't promote it. The other crazy thing is that when you when you called and had your your uh, endorsement removed from their website, right? Yes, I uh, they had my endorsement on their website and I emailed saying, can you please remove my endorsement? I don't want it there anymore. So they removed everybody's endorsement. Everybody. Everybody's. Chuck's just went away. Yeah. Uh, someone said to uh, turn up the volume a little bit. I don't know if you can increase the gain. Um, we can. Someone did, uh, Tony Ryan, I would buy software from SpongeBob 3D if it were actually written by SpongeBob SquarePants. And that's, I mean, you're not the only one. What you doing? Setting it to start to heat up. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I can load the filament. Can I? Um... There's so many boxes. There we go. I just had to turn the volume a little bit. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Sean is way over there. Can't even see him there. Shoot. Nope. Shadow sixteen three fifty. Are you excited for Endgame? I am excited for Endgame. It's going to be a lot of fun. Or pink time to not endorse crappy companies. That's great. That is exactly it. Mark Reynolds, what slicer do you use? Uh, I use quite a number of slicers. I use Idea Maker. I use Cura. I use Slicer Prusa Edition. And uh, that's really it. And matter control. I use matter control for the pulse. Yes. Is it going? There's a lot of resistance. Did you trim the ends? I did. Huh. A lot of resistance on the filament loading. Can I see it? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Do so you want to scoot it closer? Which way you go? No, I got it. I can see. Yeah, I'm not saying you're not doing it right. I'm just, sure. Uh... There you go. Okay. Perfect. It looks like uh, inside the filament sensor, which is right before the extruder, it looks like even even fresh cut filament could still hit the switch rather than engage the switch. Um, yeah. So I think that was it. But I fixed it. Yay. Info Mario Reyes, did you try the E3D slicer? Uh, I didn't. Pathios. Pathio? Pathios? That was an E3D slicer. Uh, they're, they're approaching slicing in a completely different way. It seems cool. I was on the beta, and I didn't get a chance to download the software, so I didn't get a chance to try it. I saw uh, Tom Sandlatterer. He tried it. I think he did a, a wonderful... I think he did a wonderful video on it, even.
A little bit of red in there. Corey James, Joel, are you for or against a venue change for Murph 2020? Uh, Corey, I am for whatever gets us more space to have ourselves a convention. Correct. I think that Murph has hit that point at which it's more popular than what the venue it's currently in can handle. Saturday was, for lack of a better term, abysmal. I couldn't go to anyone and see anything until Saturday at like 10 p.m. And I got there at 11 a.m. 10.30 a.m.? 10 a.m.? 11 a.m. 11 a.m. A couple hours after they opened. Yeah. Okay. Print. Hey, Sean. Yeah. Ron Floyd is saying, is the spool holder on the wrong side? I think... Yep. Well, why don't you uh, take the spool and put it under and then back on? And then now put it on. Yeah. No, no, no. Well, you had it. You had it. Yeah, just... I like that. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it wasn't like that. Oh, I gotcha. Yeah. Well, everything is awful. Yes. Um, did you cross the streams there? I did. Oh. Okay. Uh, test normal dog. Here we go. This is it. You know, one ninety-five. It's on the low end for PLA. Should be fine. Okay. We'll see what happens. Yeah, I did like Chuck's video uh, yeah. when they uh, oh. yeah. don't don't kick there. Uh, so I did see someone ask if we have any upgrades planned for these, like any modif modifications. Yeah. And yeah, the uh, the wham bam um, flexible build plate is going to be installed on this one, and then uh, I think a BL touch eventually too. Just just swapping out the auto bed leveling. But that's it. Is that, and that's it? That's it. That's all I have planned, I believe. Because everything else that I would have done, like the Capricorn tubing and the different um, couplers, uh, that's already been done for this. So, yeah. Is thermal protection? I don't know. know. I don't know. Someone says it will not, so what, what will not work? Uh, first, I just want to show you. Look at that. Nice. Good shot. Thanks. Yeah. Perfect. Well, okay, once it starts going, I'll, I'll, I'll switch over to that. Okay. Now, can I live? Z oh, I can adjust. Look at that. Oh, no. What? It's printing at the back corner. Okay. Looks like it needs to go up a bit. Yep, a lot. God, it's going so slow. That is so slow. Uh, a David Tish with 20 US dollars. Hey, Matter Hackers is in the chat. Oh, look at that. And they said uh, BL Touch, Extruder, and Hot End are go to upgrades for that machine. Yeah. That would make sense. Uh, Kurt Jelani, did Sean perform an auto level first? He did. Sean did auto level it. It didn't work very well. Uh, Ryan Hughes, what about the mod for the extruder so the filament doesn't scrape going in? Uh, Sean will be investigating the mods for the machine. Uh, Monster Master 375, it's 3 a.m. WTF. It's only midnight here. So we are West Coast, Best Coast. Justin Dodson, you're putting in the wrong pin number. <laughs> Correct. That's funny. That's funny. So it's just, it's printing in the back? Yeah, and now it's probably too high. 
but I can't just hold it and it goes. I have to yeah. tap it every yeah. single time. Go to go to one point one. Go to like have a target. That's what I was doing. There okay. you go. No, still too high. Still too high. It was just it looked like it was digging in there, so I shot it up pretty high. Looks kind of high, doesn't it? Yep. It's getting there though. Maybe. Tony Ryan, I hear there's an upgrade for a louder fan. I'm sure there is. Joseph Higginbotham, do the donations here go to you or Seattle Children's Hospital? That's a really good question. Uh, donations here, they go to me, and then people sometimes specify to get some to Seattle Children's Hospital. So I do my best to go through the super chats and remember which ones are donations. Uh, if you if you want if you want to go directly to Seattle Children's Hospital and you don't want to rely on my mind to remember and to be able to comb through Super Chats, which is, I think, a really good option, uh, you can uh, send money in directly for Fan Mail Friday or you can contact the hospital directly. Those are two things. Oh, Sean, yeah. look at that. What's going on over there? I am starting over with the, you know, the adjusted Z height being a little bit closer to what we need it to be. Cancel and rehome. Yep. Interesting that it prints all the way back there. Ooh, Mario Cravens. Hey, Joel, I'm designing a newer version of the Green Lantern ring I gave you at Matter Hackers. That is cool. That Green Lantern ring was cool, so designing a new version of it, that sounds awesome. porn can you put something under the mic to insulate it from the table oh yes <laughs> oh man right, there's a scraper in the box I think in the box uh, what are you looking for the box for a toolbox but it's just a scraper I have scrapers. You do. Goodbye. Let's see. How could we insulate that mic? Yeah. Oh, no. Hey, Brandon. You're rarely up to slate. How do you do it? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how we do it. And yeah, he's just starting. Sean's just starting right now. That's okay though. Reality scraper rocks. I've been it a few times. You need to move your spool holder to the left side of the machine. He will do that. Don't worry. Right. Don't worry. He will do that. There'll be a few things I'll do, like upgrade the firmware, put the bottom back on. Yeah. We call, those, we call those pants. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And move that over. Uh, Hanan from Philadry. I am sitting in the office and watching this instead of working. Not a good idea. Hanan, uh, uh, the Philodry makes, makes uh, a quick mention in Wednesday's video. It does. In Wednesday's video. We talk about, we wrap up Murph and we talk about some cool stuff coming up. Uh, and uh, the Philodry will def it's it's going to see some time here because I'm going to put it through its paces. You may have had your filament in an aquarium. I have a full pool to put it in. Just dragging it yeah, through the pool. Yeah, and we'll see how that's going to work. It'll yeah. work just fine. There are some chemicals in that pool water that aren't that weren't in that aquarium. Ooh. Makers Me says to put it on uh, some styrofoam. I mean, we got some, some thick styrofoam. Or I have an idea. What if you built up something on this table to go this high? Not a bad idea, Joel. That's not a bad idea. There's just not a lot of room on that table to put anything. 
I'm working on it. Sure, put that on its end. Yeah. That is the Zortrax cover slash HEPA filter. Oh, yeah. As long as it's not touching this table, it should be fine. How's that? Is that good? Is that better? Mm. Oh, yeah. Everybody's saying thank you. Not much better. Well, do you need to re-level? I'm going to have to re-level it, yeah. It's just not sticking. Well, it's not. No, no, no. It's too close to the bed, so yeah, it's, it's yeah. not able to spit out, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, don't move. Well, here, we can turn up the game, right? Yeah, it's on the back. There we go. Okay. Uh, let's see. I turned up the gain a little bit. Oh, way better. Okay. I guess people like that. I do need a boom. I do need a boom. Apparently they like it on the box. And a monocle. Should you get a monocle, Joel? Everybody says it's better. Uh, I could use a monocle. Is it? It seems to be going now. Yep. Is it going? Like going, going? It's going. Look at that. That is a Creality CR10S Pro put together by the one and only Sean Connolly. <laughs> right here. Right here. And this looks to be the first successful print. We'll, we'll find out. Okay. Okay. It was a oh, Rick Cisco. There's some grub screws on the left side of the ABL sensor. If you lower the nozzle so it sits on the two millimeter feeler gauge, and then put the cheap wrench they supply under the ABL sensor and lower it until it rests on the wrench, then tighten the grub screws. After that, it'll work without as much live set adjustments. Ah, yeah, I, I, it's already I, pretty low. Yeah, it's already still pretty low. Oh, put your ear on the table. Oh, the, oh, oh, we're sorry. Oh, <laughs> I am so sorry. Oh, yeah. Oh, gotcha. That makes a lot more sense. Though. We could get a boom just down right here. We could. I, mean, I could. Yeah. I could get a. I could mount it on a tripod or a mic stand right there. A right. mic stand. Yeah. You are production value one hundred and one. Sometimes. We should talk to uh, E Plus Vox about what mics we should get. He he knows a thing or two. He does. Yeah, Epis Vox. He's gonna be at the LTX. Oh really? Yeah. He's good. He's good. I really, I really good want to do that. Yeah, I think we should, or at least you should. Well, I think we should. I want to go, but I want to be invited. I think that'd be a fun one to be invited yeah. to. Yeah. I mean, I understand why I'm not. Quantum Flare, two U.S. dollars. Put this towards the charity, if you remember. I will definitely try to remember that. We'll go you through. You bet. Oh, look at that! Everybody. Everybody is just loving the sound now. <laughs> Start the stream over! Right. Can we please? It's all because of Maker's Muse. Yeah, great suggestion. Thanks, Everybody, uh, Maker's Muse, for some reason, that was the that was the thing I noticed. That's when we began the audio adjustments. Uh, so if you want to thank anybody, thank, thank Angus. You. Yeah. Thank Angus. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, Hill CT. So to recap, assembly consists of two screws. We're over an hour in, and it's just now starting to print. No, no. three screws. Three screws. Three screws. So, yeah. Again, and the reason what that happened is because the, there's some padding inside the machine that had broken off that's supposed to guide the screw in. And when that padding wasn't there, the screw just went in and fell into the machine. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. That caused that issue. Yeah. Uh, and then oh, mega good. making. Oh, Joe, your bat verified. Let me send you some bat. You know what that is? Nope. There's a, a, a website or a browser or something that allows you to to donate to the creator that you're watching at the time. Okay. 
And I think they do it in bat, which is a certain kind of currency. Oh, gotcha. Hmm. Yeah. That's awesome. Aw, look at that. They're all thanking Angus. Aw. He deserves it. Aw. He's good people. It's really going. Look at that. You want to you wanna see if you can't get that any closer? I mean, I can just pick it up. Savage. Could you? I don't yeah, know. Why, why don't you take it off the well, take it off the live? Okay. Sean is now going to attempt to move a camera. No, let's not do that. Honestly. Uh, because can you go back to it? Sure. Is it punched in more? It's not. It's not. I did the zoom on the camera, it didn't work. Oh, no, the zoom on the camera won't work. Nope. No. No, and I'm not gonna pick that up because there's cords and things that I just that I won't be able to do that. We do have this. Do we have? It was the webcam up or no? Um. Did you not set it up as a camera? I don't know the answer to that. So. Because I could do that. Let's see. Oh, it's connected. Nope. The answer to that question is no. Oh, it could be. Got it. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's just do that. Is it that one? No, it, it oh, it is that one. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There it is. So you can kind of see it right there. There it is. Ah, uh, that's a hotbed. Let's see. Wait, oh, oh, there we go. There we go. There we go, yeah. That is the Creality, like, default white. So. Hill CT. I stand corrected. Three screws. <laughs> Can you just rest the camera on the bed? Uh, it's really hot. Probably not a good idea. Do you not care? I think, I think we should try it. There you go. Okay. No, I don't have to hold it. It's worth... Oh, I just... Just so you know, I mean, the camera is sitting on the print bed okay. right there. Yeah. There it is. Sorry about the really long process of that happening. Uh, the German 3D printing nerd. Why is it printing in the back? Sean, why is it printing in the back? That's that's where the default setting that came on the card from Creality has it printing. Rick Cisco, $2. A couple bucks towards the Sugar Fix Fund. That's good. He needs that it. Is, yes. Jawad Ahmed, 3D Printing Nerd, share your review regarding Zortrax M300 Plus. Thank you. Uh, I don't have a review on the Zortrax M300 Plus. I have a box that a Zortrax M200 Plus is in, and we'll be getting that out post with. Post, so post, haste. Post, post, post haste. haste. Post, post haste. haste. Post haste. Post haste. Post haste. Soon. 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 Soonish. Soon. Yeah. Uh, Bit Freezer, Euro 5. Good job on tinkering this lovely piece of Technic. How many millimeters per second do you think it will do for longer prints? How fast is it printing right now? Uh, my guess would be most likely... 60? Uh, I... I don't want to say 60. Yeah, it's, I don't, it's not moving that fast. So I, I yeah. And it might get there once we get to the infill, but it's going really slow right now. This Maybe. is still the first few yeah. layers, you know? Uh, I'm, I'm guessing it's between 40 and 60 millimeters per second. Yeah. That's my guess. But, I mean, it will do 60. Oh, Buzz. See you later. Have fun at school. It's at Huber, with extension wires, longer Bowden, you can replace the Z-axis frame parts and then get the added height. Then tell the slicer the printer is taller. Huh. Oh, look at that. Angus, the M300 prints great. It's as slow as molasses doing so. Angus had a much better experience with the M300 than I did. I had two of them, and both of them, well, they don't, they're do not they not of this world anymore. The first one jammed, and then I couldn't clear the jam, and then I cleared the jam, but the motor kept just clicking. So I had to, I gave it to Keith at Protopasta, and he ended up putting a Duet 32 board in it. I got another one, and uh, it it jammed, 
and the motor would click again and same it was thing. same problem same problem so i gave that away to someone else who could fix it wow yeah not great so zortrex sent me an m200 plus neat we'll see what happens yeah. the hot end is different on it okay and i'm excited to look at it well yeah hopefully the jamming is issue isn't there that's my guess right yeah that's my guess yeah okay the only jam i like is strawberry mm. i'm a big i like apple jelly not jam jelly i'm a jelly guy yeah yeah what's the difference between jelly and jam i don't know I have no idea, but I can tell you the that. The look on your face when you said that yeah. was just pure joy. <laughs> yeah. Like, did we find the topic that Sean knows the most about or no, likes to talk no, about the no, most? No, 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 you did not. Oh. You did not. Oh. But I do find it fun that they sent us the wrong plug. Uh, you know what? That's okay. That's okay. Oh, oh. Oh, there. Sorry. I didn't realize you switched the camera. Fun. Yep. It's just doo, 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 doo. What is that even? It's a periscope. It's like uh, that. Ah. Uh, no, no, no. It's like that. Uh, the 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 monster from the trash compactor. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Star Wars. Yeah. Uh, what was that called? Star Wars? No. The monster in the trash compactor. Someone's got to know. Okay. Hive mind. In the movie Star Wars, there was a monster in the trash compactor. What was that monster? So you have to ask the nice people of the internet. Yes, yes, they they'll know. They will know. Um, it also made an appearance in Shadows of the Empire, N sixty four game. Oh, really? Yeah, that's kind of awesome. Mm -hmm. Apple is butter. I like that. Apple's butter. Uh, Hill oh, CT M two hundred still better than the Robo R two. I do not disagree with you. I have had apple jelly though. Apple jelly's good. Yeah. Oh, jelly is made from juice. Jam is puree from Christopher Mazjek. Oh. oh. Okay. Good to know. Justin Dotson. Orange marmalade is underrated. Agreed. Underrated. Someone did mention that uh, does the bottom need to be put back on to provide proper ventilation? I, I don't know the answer to that. There we go. I don't actually the bottom. Oh, you know what? It does. There are vents. Okay. So we'll do that. Yeah, at some point. Yeah, uh, I'm going to upgrade the firmware after this finishes printing, and then I'll okay. put this back on. Yeah, you know we could do. Uh, let's see, I could do. Bonk. And I'm going to save these screws right now, Bonk. so we don't run into the same problem. And then I could just go, bonk, and then go, bonk. Just there give it up go. the whole time. I'm going to. It just keeps. And then I can go up adjusting. here. Oh, not that one. There we go. Ha, ha, ha. There we go. So now, right down here, you can see it printing. No. It's here. <laughs> yeah. It's here. Yeah. Uh, oh, hey, a big thanks to Angus, Maker's Muse, for joining the stream. It's Angus been a big help. is a huge help. Angus is always... Ha um, it's always friendly, awesome, yeah. helpful. But if you look, Angus Angus is going to pass 500,000 oh subscribers very you serious? soon. Serious. Yeah, YouTube, uh, for some reason, some awesome reason, promoted his Oleoid video. Oh. And he gained in four, in five days, it was like 35,000 subscribers. Wow. And a bunch of views to go along with it. That's amazing. Yeah. So uh, Angus is probably going to hit 500,000 subscribers really soon. That's, that's huge. huge. That's huge. That That's incredible. And, and it, it can't go to someone who deserves it more. Like, it's it, very well deserved. It's very well deserved. Very well deserved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Di Dianoga? Does that sound familiar? Mm, yeah, no. The monster? Is that the monster from the trash compactor? Yeah, Dianoga is the name of the Star Wars trash compactor monster. Okay. I knew that at one point in my life. And cost. The new Game of Thrones was awesome. It was amazing. Lots, uh, lots of reunions. Uh, Tony Ryan, no. Angus has not sent pizza during a live stream. Yet. To be fair, the pizza I sent Angus, I did have to coordinate with Ashley. I'm gonna, I'm gonna allow that. Duct tape. Go ask Pudes for more subs. <laughs> I'll 
I'll just I'll just phone up Felix. Hey Felix. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I could use some more subs. Right. Yeah, uh, he's not gonna give that to you. No. But you, you 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 did lend him your voice, right? Pew no, we're not talking about Pew. Pew oh, never mind. Wrong person in my head. You mean Wrong person. Markiplier? Yes. Oh, yes. they're different people. They're different people. I get them confused sometimes. That's okay. I get them confused. Yes, Sean. See. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Im Imagination to form all on subs, so he stops at 499,999. That is... That's rude. That's ki well, that's kind of you. I mean, it's it, it keeps Angus humble. <laughs> <laughs> keeps it keeps him humble. I don't think... That guy, he could get to a million subs, and I don't think he would be any less humble. No. Yeah. No. No, no, no. That's wrong. That's really... Uh, Quantum Flare, what was the code that is used for 3D prints? Uh, do you mean uh, G-code? 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 You know, we had a great an interesting video planned for that at one point, didn't, didn't we? we? Yeah, with uh, Al Alec from Matter Hackers. Oh, yeah. Where he had used the G-code you know to... Do? I have an idea. What's that? Well, keep talking. Yeah. Or, yeah, keep talking. Yeah. But. Where Alec had used the G code on the Ultimaker. Oh, that's right. Right to because he wanted to automate a print, like where he could just print 3D fills over and over and over and over again, and not have to do anything with it with the printer. So he put it in the G code to where it would raise the nozzle or the the whole it, hot end and like shoot past the print and knock it off purposefully and then start a new print. Right. right. Yeah. Right. It would, uh, it, but it, it had to wait like 20 minutes for the bed to cool down. Right. For the magic goo to let go of the print and then it would knock it off. Right. The, uh, the printer printed for seven days straight. Yeah, seven days straight. Like one print at a time, seven days straight. Yeah. Just print, 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 knock off. Print, 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 knock off. Print, 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 knock off. Yeah. I think he had one failure, obviously, at the end, right. at the end of the seven days. But yeah. like, Seven days, so that's pretty amazing. It's pretty good. It's a pretty good idea. I'm a big Got fan it. of tape. Nailed it. I'm a big fan of Taped tape. It. Yeah. yeah. Mark Reynolds, why are you printing in the back corner? Why not the middle? That's a really good question. We have no control over that. Yeah. Uh, the... That's just where the default was on the card. Yeah. Yeah. So we just did the, the default print, the dog print on the card. That's where it has it print. Yeah. Uh, I was thinking, it's getting to be kind of late. We've been streaming for two hours now. <laughs> we we have a printer successfully printing. Yep. And once this is done, we'll tweet out the finished prints on my Twitter. You can follow me at Joel Telling. I am at the Sean Connolly. He'll retweet it. I will. Or how about this? You Sean will tweet it out. I will retweet it, and then you can follow Sean on the Twitter. Sure. That sounds fine with me. I think that should be a great idea. Yeah. yeah. Uh, man, we had fun, didn't we? Well, once I got it going, yes, it's been fine. I'm really sorry about that. About the losing the screw, about that thing. Yeah. Just, I'm sorry. Yeah. I was nervous. You were nervous, but you yeah. did a good job. You did all right. You got it up and working. Yeah. Look at it go. I'm a behind the scenes kind of guy for a reason. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It worked out good. Yeah. I had a good time. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for all the, the super chats that were thrown in. We'll put those to good use. And some of those will get to see out Children's Hospital. Absolutely. It'll be great. Uh, a lot of cool stuff coming up. New video on the channel on Wednesday. And then after that, uh, there is a new Fan Mail Friday on Technically Nerdy on Friday. Yeah. And then we've got a new video coming out Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. Sunday as well. So there we go. It just got quieter. It did get quieter. A little bit quieter. Uh, yeah. Let's see. I don't know... How do we... I think we just... I think there's a stop stream at some point. Is there a stop stream? I don't know. I don't know. I guess we could just stop the stream. All right. Hey, you well, know what? That was awesome. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Don't forget to hug each other more, because I love you all. And as always, uh, high five. High five. High five. High five. High five. Good job, dude. Thanks. Nailed it. Uh, I don't know. Stop, if, stop. if I stop it, though, doesn't it... I think you just hit stop streaming. Do I hit stop streaming? On, on OBS. Okay. See you later.